they are getting the cones set up, getting ready for this DWI checkpoint here in Manalapan, New Jersey, Route 9. And we're on the southbound side. That takes you right down into Freehold, Lakewood. So they're getting the cars coming southbound, and they're going to bring them into Mammoth Bank Park. The Ocean First Bank. And there they are. And correct me if I'm wrong, wasn't this misidentified on the prosecutor's yes, it was Facebook page? Yes, it was misidentified. It was... Sunbank, they were. Well, and I see they have another, uh, they got, it looks like they got a, cad a cadet over there tonight. There she is. There's your tax dollars, everybody. Hard at work. Look at it. Deputy. And we got our first car up tonight. Let's see how their techniques are tonight. See how aggressive these Manalpin police are. Let's see if they do any car diving. Does it look like they are? All right, see this officer, I like what this officer's doing. He's kind of up there, he's not shoving his head in the car. He's being polite. Okay, so we're checking out the uh, plate reader right here. Uh, am I looking at it? There it is, right there. There are three plate readers on this. One is looking at an incoming lane, the far lane. And then we have one right here in the back. Let me zoom up on that. And that is looking at the lane closest to me, the, looking at the back of its plate. So they are reading the plates, folks. They are reading it. They are keeping track of what cars come through here. They are being surveilled upon. I fail to see how a plate reader determines a person's sobriety while driving. So the chief is disingenuous, either deliberately or in, uh, not deliberately, when he says that it's not about that. And, and alternate enforcement. Right. He says it's about DUI and education. Right. But well, take a look. You have a vehicle right here that's specially equipped. Right. There's no other Manalpin police car has three plate readers on Right. Up. That car is sitting there specifically for the purpose of reading plates. That's right. How many times And Snyder dollars? told, Snyder said to us, uh, we're, uh, how do you know if somebody's got a warrant? Well, we don't. you don't. You don't. But if they're driving a car and got a driver's license, that's right. then, then they know. Do. Getting busy, John. This guy is here this like a champ, this kid in the back. Agreed. These people are making the big mistake. They're giving up ID. In this case, it looks like a passport or something. If you're a passenger in the car, are you required to give ID, Matt? Technically, no. No, but it gets to be a gray area. If you're involved in an involved party in an investigatory stop, there's an argument in favor of it. But this is a sobriety checkpoint. That's right. That's right. It gets to be a very, very sharp gray area. In this case, if they refuse to and they're charged with obstruction. I'll take the obstruction. <laughs> you, you, have, you have a, I'll tell you what, you have a hell of a defense. Right. You really do. But 
is it theoretically I'd rather get arrested for exercising my rights than giving them up. Is it theoretically possible that you could be convicted? Slim to none. But do you want to spend $30,000 on appeals, John? I don't, unless I absolutely have to. Well, the number one rule is don't ride dirty. Well, you look at this kid over here in the back in the green car. Okay, just focus the camera on there. He's in the time. background. I got Okay, him. this kid has passed three different tests so far. Okay, and that goes to my point that I made last time. They test them until they fail. So he'll fail one out of the ten tests. Oops, now we have a probable cause to take you in for a, uh, for a breathalyzer. I think that kid's doing very well. He's doing excellent. Considering he's got his hands in his pocket, he can throw your balance off. Oh, and look at this. Nobody, nobody over here has a dash cam or a body cam. Well, he's got a involved with no involved with the kid. I always think moving your hands around is not a good thing to do. No. It's like a bullshit. You're bullshitting. You're, you're... And you know what? This isn't a best practice. I understand that, that, that we're in this legal limbo, which it, it exactly is. But maybe for all parties, you should have asked the kids that they prefer to step out of the car. I might in this situation. We got another hokey pokey over here. This guy's gonna fail the hokey pokey. I got a feeling he's not gonna do it. No. But he's, he's not dressed accordingly either. He's in a suit. Well, he looks a little bit shoveled. Is that a bow tie? That is a bow tie. He may. I wonder what would happen if you asked him to change his clothes. I don't know, he's holding and up. And then this he, guy's standing so close to him, the guy can't breathe. He's holding pretty steady there. He is. He's and I'll say again for the millionth time, you do not have to do these field sobriety tests. And you're a fool if you do so. And you are a fool if you do so, and your lawyer will tell you that. Because they claim they can have probable cause without it. But they're going to have a hard time. What they're doing is just gathering more evidence against you. They're solidifying their case. Right. Exactly what they're doing. See, you know, how kind of clothes he's wearing. Looks like he might have been a bartender or at some kind of party. A wedding. A wedding, that's, yeah, exactly. That's my first thought. This guy was at a wedding. Exactly. And you have a, a binocular on that thing, so I'll watch. Looks like he's doing reasonably well. What would happen if the pen went this way and you looked the other way? And oh. when he moved there, you looked the other way. Just the fuck I wasn't going to argue with the good sergeant. But an HDN is not admissible in a court of law. An HDN is inadmissible. Totally. Did you know that? No, I didn't. I know this now. A gaze test. A gaze test? Yes. What's the gaze test? That's, that's what it's called. A gaze a test? <laughs> that's what they're oh, doing. Your breath smells like that. Get ready. We're going to be doing a hokey pokey dance here. Now, we think this guy got pulled out because he looks like he just came from a wedding. He's got his bow tie on. And he's just got that kind of attire. It looked either he was a, looks like he was a bartender or uh, came from a uh, wedding. Is that his car still running? I guess so. I think they're going to turn off the ignition right now. Oh, the other car that cut loose. Oh, the other car. I think 
a fat spot here. So this is probably maybe the only record of this guy doing the walk. And here he goes. It's always a turnaround that's a problem for them. They're going to still breathalyze this guy. Pretty good so far. Come on, buddy. No, he failed. How did he fail? He screwed up. He stopped too short. Well, how are you supposed to know? There's no line out there indicating how far you got to walk. They're going to cuff this guy in about a minute. I'm telling you. I put $20 on it. This guy's not going free, John. Oh, here. This is the one that gets them. And they got to do the but, old. Uh, look, look, right now, I still couldn't do it. Let me see. How many? I can't do it right now. This guy's pretty top heavy. I don't know if he can do the old shake a leg. This guy's built like other people around here. I would let him cuff me, take me in for my breathalyzer, but this guy. He's doing great. 10, I think he's doing fine. 11. How long you got to hold him? All right. Now they're getting him to the other leg because he's doing too well. Yeah. You think he's going to go free jump? Well, in my opinion, he's not showing any signs of impairment. I think they're gonna still cuff him. I got I get that feeling. Now they're gonna insult back here what to do. So what do you think there, Joe? I don't know, a little short on the rest tonight. Well, it looks his like he's got, he got a nice car there. He might know somebody. Yeah, they're gonna cuff him. Yep. Yep. Yeah, there they go. I called it, huh, Johnny? Yeah, you called it, but in your opinion, you think the guy looks impaired? No. No, I, he didn't. We see what impaired people look like. We, we, we need to start going these municipal court things. Because it's, it's shit like this. They had no probable cause to take him in for drunk driving. No, this. Unless the guy reeks of liquor. <laughs> That's awkward. They just frisked this guy with it. They didn't frisk, they did a pat. All right, now watch the hands going. That's He's uncool. This, this guy's uncooperative. This is a good one. Over here. This black guy. Uh, I got to do this until Dummy Pilot is doing what he wants to do. Can you zoom in on that one? Yeah. They don't like this guy. I don't know if that's a guy. I think that might be a woman. That's a woman. There's a lot of androgyny. Now they're going to do us. Now they're going to do this. She's not having it tonight. She's not having it. They're going to probably have to restrain her, I think, very shortly. Is he radioing for backup? I don't know. I will make sure you don't He's got the flashlight in his hand in case he's got a cracker. That's right. Can't rewrite the narrative now, officer. The video's on you. 
first time we met, you had a saying, all I do is round up the cameras. But you know what, John? Just by having the camera, that helps in this day and age. I think she consented to a search. She uh, does there's, have... there's a passenger in the car. Oh, is there? She has New York plates, too, on her car. Is that a kid? No. Or a short person? A short person. You know, it's augured enough being local and having the local cops screw you, but when you're out of town, out of area, and you're getting screwed up, it's, it's double up, he's going in the car. She gets headed to a search. Not good. Maybe we should get the other angle. We'll go down I think we there. should. I yeah. think we should. We could go across the street, too. He's going in uh, pocketbooks there, I think. Yep. Does going through the pocketbook include the part of the search of a car? Nope. The more compartmentalized something is, the more protected that it is. Well, he's clearly going into the pocketbook. Now he's going into the wallet. This is illegal. Well, it's in another very gray area. Well, the pocketbook's on the front seat. Now, when she gave consent, does a consent apply to that? Right. There's a Supreme Court case which suggests uh, that. I would does. think that she's thinking, yeah, I give consent to search my car, but now the pocketbook is not part of the car, but it's well, contents it of the car. It is, exactly. And by so virtue that, being contents, it is. So going in the pocketbook would be the same as going into a glove compartment. That's right. Do that. If you give them permission to search the car, they can go anywhere. See, I don't like because if they don't have the body cams on here, you don't know if this guy's going to plant. Slip something. Slip something. Not that I think that they're going to do it. No. But yeah. the opportunity is there. And he's well aware we're recording. And he doesn't like it. It's just the country we're living in, America. Fishing expeditions. You know what we should call these Fourth Amendment pass uh, byways? The dragnets. Uh oh, uh oh, now this guy came, came over to tell him that we're recording them. Well, he does, he knows. Why would you even think that? Because I know the way it works. No, you don't. I do. Very well. laying something up on the roof, things that are of interest. Prescription bottle. They're eager beavers tonight. This is getting ridiculous. This is all about checking for sobriety, see? They're going to search your car and get you out of the car and frisky and pat you down and Man, do you have a valid prescription for those nitroglycerin heart pills? <laughs> that's real. Oh, you're being funny again. No, I'm not. That's what that's what it's coming down to. Because that's exactly where he's going to go with that now, John. Now that he has well, a yeah, I mean, as long as her car. name is on it, there's a doctor's name, and it's a valid well, prescription. The law says you're supposed to carry the prescription with you when you're traveling with it. Well, she is carrying. It's in the pocketbook. Yeah, but a copy of the RX. I, I, if she doesn't have that, she could potentially be screwed. It would be ridiculous. How many people care? You know, first of all, when you point. go get a prescription, you give the paper to the guy and he they're gives you the bottle to, back. supposed to give the, you the RX. You know what? I've never gotten one back. They give you a printout thing on the bag. Well, that's that too. That'll suffice under some circumstances. If that's an out-of-state prescription. Mm. 
You know what we do next time we find out where the location is? We'll go across there with our signs. Don't answer. <laughs> this guy's eating. So now they've, oh, and now the other one got, came over here, so he's blocking our view of the search. Well, I think he's searching too. Maybe he's, we should go across the street. It's not the sea over there, this is the spot. Yeah, but across the street and then zoom in from that angle. We could do that. Well, if you stay on the other side, you could flip the bird. That's right. Depending on our moon. Can you do it? Yeah. Instead yeah. of a moon. There's a moon out tonight. So the, this guy had somebody in the car, the, the chubby guy. Had the little... Yeah, the, the one that got cuffed, so... He's not cuffed, is he? The guy with the suspended white shirt? Yeah. They handcuffed him, took him away. Oh, yeah, oh, the other guy, the guy in the other car. Yeah. This car right yes. here. Yes. Yes, he had somebody with him in the car. So that car will not get impounded. She'll have to drive down to headquarters, which is like five miles from here. Uh, here we go, the back seat now. Let's not spare no expense on the taxpayer's part. Come on, they know those black folks are doing something. They gotta be doing something. They're black. And they say, man, them crackers have trying to jam us up, man. Black in America, folks, this is what happens. You don't look right, you're in the wrong town. You wind up in secondary. You wind up in secondary. Just my humble opinion. So do they, you people really think this is about DWI, about catching safety. sobriety, catching impaired drivers? You're sorely mistaken. mistaken. They lie about the facts, they lie about the law, Monmouth County's finest. This is how they protect you. Well, let me remind you people something. The police are instruments of the government. They are here to protect the government. That's right. Everything else is a byproduct of it. Is that. a byproduct of it. But they're here to protect the government and its laws. Has our mission subsided for the night, Sarge? Is this bordering on ridiculous, Sean? I, uh, I think they're being, oh, this is a guy. Yeah. I knew it. Yeah, you can't tell anymore these days. No. He's, he's got a little goatee. Yeah. I'm sorry, mister. I didn't mean to offend you. He's got floppy boobies, too. I know somebody else has got floppy boobs. There's the hands. The hands are moving. Got the hand jive going on. You have a clean driving record and everything. This is BS, right? Hey, Joe, you uh, you distract them while I plant the evidence. They should pay us for all the time we spent out here keeping them honest. Oh, there comes the tow truck, John. Oh, no.
Yeah, it is. It's a tow truck coming in. See? A tow truck. Oh, this is going to be a problem right here. Turn around, right behind you. This guy's turning. So I'm happy to report that this car right here looks like they're going to leave. Okay, so I'm happy. Because it bothers me when you don't look a certain way and they're going to sit there and single you out and start jamming you up. And now this car, where the wife was capable of driving, they won't... Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Maybe she's drunk too. Yeah, some towns won't let you drive at home. That's what are you saying? Everybody's got to make money off you first? Yep. And I guess the tow truck driver's going to offer her a ride home. It's kind of cute. Why don't you offer a ride home, Matt? In the Blues Brothers. <laughs> Unless they're gonna give a ticket to She's that white car. Too. Yeah, maybe this white car. They're gonna give him a ticket. That's a BMW they're in, isn't it? What is uh, that car? Yeah. I think it's a Nissan. Pretty. You're fusing through. All right, so they get you second day, then they grab your stuff, and then they're gonna go run the plate and all that. Yeah, What's this guy doing? Still not done with these poor people. No. All right. Give you should ask for an interview on the way out. I'm gonna try. We're all good guys, dude. We're very good. all smiley face. Yeah. Fake. They're using the DWI as a. Uh, as a cover. As a dragnet. As a reason to, to stop you and detain you so they can try to find evidence against you. This is what this whole DWI thing is about. It's about detaining you so they can gather evidence. Now, they want to tell you that it's just for sobriety. That is hogwash. It's not, it, that's part of it, but I saw revenue enforcement going on. I saw, D, I saw motor vehicle stuff going on, and you can't deny that it's just sobriety checks. It's not a sobriety check because you don't need a plate reader to check somebody's sobriety. You don't need to re run somebody's driver's license to see if they're drunk or not. It's all it's all BS. It's 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 the man. It's the government. It's Big Brother watching us. That's what it is. So anyway, I am Gunnison undercover at the Manalapan DWI checkpoint here on Route 9. It's September 28th now because we're in the Saturday morning, and this man right here. It's Matt Tim. Matt Tim, and we will see you later. Do you know what? Oh boy. Tow truck drivers are making their couple hundred dollars for a night.